nice to see everyone here. Right, I'm glad all this fucking COVID bollocks finished and all that. Um, we, am I ruining your show, love? <laughs> am I ruining your show? There's a fucking respectable amount of bald eggs here. It's fucking nice to see that. Let me tell you what happened, right? This is what happened to me during COVID. A young lady that we know bought an houseboat. He said it nicked off her. Can you ask for the burger in Brow, you cunt? <laughs> so uh, they found her boat and they went, it's 100 odd mile away, you've got to come and get it. You've got 10 days to get it or we're going to crush it. Oh, so no. she turned around to me and Brendan and went, help us come back with his boat. So we've never been fucking like Rosie and Jim, Brendan and Dave, Brendan and Dave. Right? So we didn't actually know that when we get to this boat, someone's nicked the toilet out of it. It's got no toilet. Oh, fucking hell. It's funny, it works. <laughs> there's no toilet, there's no fridge, right? And there's no telly, it's just like a fucking boat that goes, right? But yeah. Anyway, stop it now. <laughs> no stop water. it, because I will go in your bedroom when you're trying to smack your mouth. Right? No water. And so, we get up there, now we're, now we're coming home, we're 100 odd mile away, and on the old goggle thing that you check up, if I'd have walked, it would have took six and a half days to seven days, if I'd have walked home. It took us 13 days, this thing went two mile an hour. Right, two mile an hour. I was on the boat one day, I see an hedgehog and I thought, Fuck me, I ain't never seen an eight hedgehog. And it's got, got a little spurt on and overtook her, so I got overtook by a fucking hedgehog. You know what I mean? I thought, how fucking am I going to get back to London when an hedgehog is going faster than me, right? Anyway, the truth is, I weren't doing a good Samaritan thing. As soon as it pissed down with rain, I was coming home. That's the God's honest truth, because you stand on the back and do the thing like. Hold it, I stood on the back, yeah? Oh, what is it, a little fucking Brendan thing, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, Brendan, he's a man, he can't do it, no one can. Anyway, <laughs> Brendan was the one in charge, he was doing the boat and all that, right? I'll say that, I'll say that, right? But it turned out to be the 14 most beautiful days England's ever had, we're fucking sitting in the sun, but things started going, fuck off. <laughs> you wouldn't mind that in a raffle, would you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sit down, sit down. Fuck it, I've just come. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> anyway, so we're coming home and the boat kept breaking down. There. It's like a, the propeller picks up a load of rope and just tied up around the fucking boat and it just veered off into the bank, right? So we're, we're fucking proper fuck. That's on the first day. So just on the off chance, you talking in front of my bed. <laughs> You've got any off chance. I goes on the internet thing and I went, if there's anyone out there that's a mate of mine that's got a wetsuit and loves a bit of diving, I could do with an hand here, blah, blah, blah. You know, otherwise I was just going to have to come home. I was just making an excuse to the bird. I'm going home, but I did try and help you, right? That was really it. Fuck me, I'll pass seven in the morning, his geezer turns up. He's got to be at work at nine. Took his suit off, went dead into his speedos. <laughs> dived in the fucking river. This is the God's honest truth. Dived in the river, was like, going underneath, <laughs> taking all the fucking weeds off the propeller and all that. Like, proper fucking Thunderbird job, you know what I mean? And he's in there and there's all fucking newts all crawling on him and everything. Right? Anyway, when he fucks off, we get a phone call and they went, Dave, 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 if you go inside the boat and lift up this hatch, you can do it from indoors. <laughs> now he lift up this hatch to propeller there. So the cunt done it all for fuck all, but whoever he is, I thank you for that, right? I thank you for that. Then I'm then down with flying down the road, right? I've got no toilet. I'm too old to shit in fields. <laughs> too old to shit in fields, but this is what actually happened. It's one o'clock in the morning. I'm gagging for a fucking turd. And I go into this film, into this field, and this is a fella that lives on the boat. Right, this fella here, I parks up beside that fella there. Oh, you cunt. <laughs> All donations are gratefully accepted. <laughs> and I'm in this fucking field over shit, and the cows, well, I suppose, where that fella is there, yeah? There's a load of cows. And I'm trying to have a shit and not shit in my trainer, right? <laughs> legs, legs are going a bit funny, right? And as I'm holding on to something to not fall over, he started up the air, started up. Oh, Oi! Oi! Take me hold on. Right. He started up the, the engine to get the lights working. The engine started up and all the cows started going <laughs> right. towards me. 
I've now got up and run with the shit still hanging out of my arsehole. <laughs> Pulling my trousers up with a turd on me back and everything. So when it gets back to the boat, I know what I've fucking done. And he wouldn't let me get back on my own boat until I dangled my ass over the edge. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm fucking 60 years old. <laughs> While I'm here, I might have a wank, you know what I mean? I'm fucking going to wash my ass. I know. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't use my own hand, I've got Brendan with me, you know. You know what I mean? I'm in charge, babe. Yeah. Goes down to pecking order. And um, everywhere that we stops, every single place that we stops, because people are bored, on that, that, that lockdown is really. Um, gone the full way on, on the waterways, there is not one boat out, but we still crashed <laughs> about five times, we still crashed, just drove into people going, sorry, but there ain't one boat out, right, you know, we're on proper fucking lockdown, they're like, little communities all, you can't park here, mate, we're all clean and we're not having a fresh one, you know what I mean, <coughs> why? Yeah, we're flying up there, and all the people on the boat are knowing we're coming, because you're all looking at Facebook, we're all going, hello, and all that. So with us, we just happen to have the person who owns the boat, he's a porn star. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> as you do. Yeah, as you do, yeah. So, who happens to be romantically linked with the dirty fucking shit cunt that I live with. <laughs> and we're, our bedrooms were separated by a curtain. Oh, no. uh, Fucking please. <laughs> please. I was, I was gonna one hand. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking joke. Uh, anyway, anyway, what's this all about? It's fucking Weezer's kitchen, I'm ready for a jog. <laughs> we're, we're, we're fucking flying down the river, all these people away. She's going, I've got to do some filming for content. Uh -huh. Like, gone, baby, I mean, fucking seriously, we don't have that. So she's lying on the roof of this fucking boat. Leg up in the air, doing all her bits, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. But from far away, it looks like someone going like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so all these people on the boat, out the river, all going, here it is, Dave and me. Uh -huh. Hello! Hello! And as you're going past again, hello! Oh, fuck. Uh -huh. I, I know, I know. It's really un gang gangster, but it was fucking funny. Right? And it was somewhere to rest your beer. <laughs> Do that thing. <laughs> Pop, <please. laughs> Here he is, super star, super star. Man overboard, remember that? No. Oh. I've got to say, you tell it a bit different, mate. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what really happened now. <laughs> Brendan, who's now homeless, <laughs> is looking for anyone to stay in their place. <laughs> because, right, we didn't have a clue how this fucking boat worked, or I'd never been on a river. When the woman said to me, I wouldn't leave today because it's a bit windy. The very first day, we'd come out of a lock, they showed us how to work a lock. I thought, that's all right, we know what we're doing. And as we've come out, it is, I thought, what's wind got to do with it? How can wind fucking affect it? Yeah, but as we've come out of the lot, the wind and the current just made the boat go right man the wrong way towards the sluice gate. Yeah, so. Who was steering? You were steering. Yeah, I, I was steering. Yeah. I was steering. Dave was watching, yeah, telling me what to do. Yeah. <laughs> and as we're heading towards this thing, I thought, fucking hell, I'd have to try and throw a rope round a tree and stop it, yeah? While Dave's watching, of course. So I did throw a rope, managed to hook it onto this tree, but the branches snapped off. <laughs> so I've sort of nearly got into the water, just avoided it, hung onto the tree as the boat started going past me. She's going, we're all gonna die, we're gonna die. He's going, <laughs> fucking go downstairs, right? So he managed to throw a rope and got me back on the boat. But the boat now just literally got stuck on the side of the river for the whole night and we give up. <laughs> that was the first night we thought we'd try again tomorrow. <laughs> but in the morning, that's when the guy come out and actually went in, dived in there in his speedos at half seven in the morning right, and did go down, but he couldn't actually do it. Yeah, and we didn't have the art to tell him afterwards that all we had to do was open this plate in the back of the boat and do it from there, which we had to do a few times after that because we fucked it up on a regular basis coming home. But we had a lot of fun. We met two blokes over there on a boat 
these two guys here, we met them. This guy's got a wicked canal boat. Really, really exceptionally sexy canal boat, yeah? This is a fast one, it does two and a half. <laughs> and and while, while everyone was in lockdown, Dave managed to organise the only exclusive Riverside party in England at the time with the only one and only DJ, Dean Lambert. Oh no, who nearly got nicked on the way there. But it was actually funny watching Dave having a shit every day in bushes. That I used to actually, I'm not saying I deliberately started the boat when the cars were there, it just happened to happen that way. <laughs> but I'm going to pass you back over to Matt now, because he's going to do some interviews with Dave, I think. Well, or maybe even both of you, it depends. I don't want you to do anything, man. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Mr. Chucker and Mr. Redwood there. Right, let me tell you, there's people you, you, that you meet in your life and there's little segments of your life that where certain people fit in. And in the birth of what made Dave Courtney whatever it, it is that you think I may be, yeah, what made me that brave or made me that cocky or whatever was them two gentlemen there. Right, that big muscly cunt there. He's, he's actually got a growing disease. He's only 13, 13 years old. He's, and Mr. Tucker at the back there were, were my Spartacus and they, they made me whatever it is. I got famous for it, they done it. I said the cocky, funny, talky bits afterwards, but they done it. So I fucking love you, right? Muchly, blah. Anyway, apart from that, they're cunts. <laughs> Love you, Mark. I tell you what I done. He had a big fucking renegade jeep one. One one year he had a renegade jeep. I borrowed it. One, I, I thought I know what I do. I put all the kids in it and I drive along Margate front. So two wheels in the sea and two wheels on the sand of all the water coming up. The kids are up there. I said, Can I borrow your jeep? So it's got no doors or nothing like that. So I'm spinning around. But it's a fucking brand new black shiny thing. All the areas on it. And because I'm a cunt, <laughs> yeah, no reason, I've gone too far in the water and it's just sunk. Oh, no. The like two wheels have sunk and the tide's coming in. And I'm like, oh, fucking hell, what a cunt. So I've rung him up and I'm going, uh, look, you know, he went, I don't give a fuck. Just fucking get the thing out of the water. Like, Otherwise, you got you owe me 30 fucking G. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I've ended up taking all the swings, you know, like the kids' swings, all the chains off, making one big, long, massive chain across the beach, going out onto the road, hooking it onto a fucking milk float, <laughs> right? and dragging me out of the thing. The trouble, Marcus, the trouble. And he had, he done all the security for Bim Bomb Brothers down at Margate. Right? And this is, I don't know anyone else this has happened to, but it happened to me. While it was like drizzling rain, on the top of a fucking outer skeleton thing, on the top, it broke down. Oh, fucking hell. I said, no, we're finished. We're finished, babe. Honestly, if you want to hang around with him. Uh, all right, done. That can't fucking run into me when you broke your leg. Where was I? What's I talking about? Some shit. What's I talking about? Margate, Margate. What? And I'll, the fucking thing broke down. The uh, thing broke down on the top. Me and the kids in it. Oh, and it's no. mine and I'm like, oh, fucking thanks, God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dickhead. <laughs> all right? So they're going to stay in the thing until someone comes up. Oh, fuck that. So I've got all the kids out and we're walking down the wood. It's got, it's got other bits of wood on it. Uh, fuck, like a proper fucking up super dad. Come on, kids. <laughs> Follow me. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I saved the kids. Dad's just been my brothers. Sorry, my words. What else, what else you want to know? Anyone got any questions you want to ask me about what's been happening lately or whatever? Whether I believe in God. <laughs> Do I believe in God? No. I've got no. Round here, babe, I am next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about where you live, I might actually be a disciple around here. But round here in this man, I can actually go. I'm coming. Oh, opening the seas, yeah. fuck all and all that stuff. <laughs> what? The what? Oh, no, I ain't done joke for it. Alright, tell you a joke. Here's the ghost of heaven. As he goes to walk in, it's a Peter stand there, he goes. Go here, get your wings and off you go. He goes, Dave Courtney's not here, is he? 
I said, of course you have. He said, sir, if Dave Courtney's not in here, is he? He makes his fucking living, mate. Of course Dave Courtney ain't in here. He said, all right. He goes in, he's having a walk about, bumping into mates. And he says, a big gold D on the floor. He's looking at it. He stands back, looks beside it, and it's got an A, it's got Dave, and it's got Courtney, and then it's got a big castle up the top, all flags, all fucking house music bumping out of it. He went, fucking cunt. <laughs> so he goes back down to St. Peter, he goes, oh, St. Pete, Pete. He said, you fucking lying cunt. I said, you told me Dave Courtney weren't here. He said, Dave Courtney ain't up here. He said, but who's that? He said, that's God. He thinks he's Dave Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> you made me tell that joke. You made me tell I'm going to tell you something. Brent, where are you? Tell him, tell him about the chocolate. Living with, you know, like, living with a bird's hard. Living with a geezer's just as hard. You get your things like, 